guys, it's Connor Come here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to give you my thoughts on Carlos Hyde signing with the Seattle Seahawks. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so, I really think this was a depth pickup for the Seattle Seahawks. Because I like they the Seattle Seahawks have a deep running core. One of the best in the NFL, I think, uh... So you see Chris Carson, Rashad Penny, CJ Procise. Um, they're all decent running backs. Chris Carson's probably a top ten running back, number one running back. Rashad Penny's probably a top is top top back up in the league. CJ Procise is probably the best third string running back you're gonna see. He could probably and should be a backup running back somewhere else. But now you have Carlos Hyde. So you would just get a better running core. But this will hurt Rashad Penny. I don't know how much he's going to play now. And I like Rashad Penny over Carlos Hyde. Um, Carlos Hyde gets big runs sometimes. But then other times he struggles to get a yard or two. So when you're a backup, you don't get as many opportunities. So you might get one big run out of Carlos Hyde. Which won't do much when I think you could get three or four out of Rashad Penny. And Rashad Penny has um, ability to get four or five yards and fight for extra yards a lot better than Carlos Hyde does. Um, so I think if I were the Seahawks, I would put Carlos Hyde as my third running back. Keep CJ Procise around, and Travis Homer goes on the practice squad or stays on special teams. But, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this signing as a Seahawks fan because I already know how deep the running back core is on this Seattle team. So, this kind of sucks for like people like Rashad Penny because he probably will be getting little play time when he really deserves it. And CJ Procise probably won't, might get, like, no playing time, which really sucks because he is a good running back, a solid backup that I would be fine to have as a backup because CJ Procise is a good backup. But, like, it sucks for, like, Travis Homer. He will struggle to get a carry this year probably will be on the practice squad, which is not somewhere you want to be when you are struggling to find another team that actually wants you. So this will be rough for the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, running back Travis Homer and also CJ Procise and Rash Rashad Penny. But I don't think this affects Chris Carson at all. And this... I'm pretty sure this was a depth pickup because of all the injuries that happened with CJ Procise, Rashad Penny, and Chris Carson. I'm pretty sure that's why they signed him. But I, I just think you could have got a different running back that maybe could have done better as a backup. Because I don't see Carlos Hyde as a having a lot of value. Um. Like, I would have rather had Devontae Freeman there because he is actually a starting caliber running back, in my opinion, as Carlos Hyde, I don't think, is. And then maybe it's not what you want, but you trade Rashad Penny and you get some value out of that um, or something like that. But I would have got uh, – I wouldn't have signed um, – Carlos side plus getting four million dollars as a backup that is quite a bit of money for backup running back Seattle pays sometimes pays people too much money um but that's kind of how Seattle is but that will do it for this video I hope you enjoyed and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and if you have other videos ideas for if you have other video ideas for me, then please comment them down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.